Okay, I'm going to take you through the process of creating a map in Scrutinizer using uh, NetFlow, IPFix, SFlow type data that's uh, serving as indicators for the colors in the map. And these links change color. So how do I go about doing this? I'm going to, I'm going to cover it pretty fast. So hang in there. You can always hit pause. I'm going to call my map Plixer Demo. And I'm going to create a Plixer map. Google Map will be a uh, subject of another video. So I'm going to save that. And do I want to pass status? All that says it means is if I have submaps that um, that if something goes red or yellow in that submap, the status will be passed up, and and the status of this map over here on the left will turn yellow or red based on something that in the submap. So I'm not not going to take advantage of that right now. Regex for adding a bunch of devices all at once. I'll show you that. And truncate uh, map labels. I'll show you that in a second as well. So let's go over here to objects and uh, let's add some objects and I'll put in a filter I'm just gonna copy that because I'm gonna use it in a second so um, I can grab a bunch of devices and move them over there like that uh, or I can go back to the settings and use that reg, reg X option there and just add them all like that so now when I go to objects wow yeah I've got a whole bunch of devices connections uh, cover that in a second background I can put a uh, a map in there or something that I want to use but I'm not going to use any of that either so let's go back to settings save it and um, let's take a look at this map all right there's my map it's kind of a mess not too pretty yet uh, what can I do to clean it up well I can uh, go into edit mode right mouse button edit mode start dragging my icons all, all around boy that could take me some time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna auto arrange Okay, that's a little bit better. I can move that guy down here. Um, maybe I can lasso icons, right? So if I right mouse button, it tells me shift plus drag mouse. Let's do that. Shift, drag my mouse, and then move all these guys over here. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted. And uh, I'm gonna select somewhere in the background to uh, unselect those guys. Save that, and let's see here shift and drag my mouse again move those guys up here yeah that's pretty good so um, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna start con connecting some of my devices together so how do I do that well I just move over an icon right mouse button create a connection and up comes the modal it says you wanna connect this guy uh, using uh, a certain interface this interface right here, I'm not sure I'll go with that, to this device. Do I want that? Yeah. So I did that. I connected them. You can see it's blue, and that's because there's no percent utilization. I don't know what the, the interface speed is, so it'll, it'll put them in blue, right? So you can see that's right there. So then I want to maybe connect this guy to this guy, right? And um, that sounds good. Save it. Close it. Yeah, it's red. Uh, excuse me, it's green. It'll change color based on utilization, yellow, orange, and you can set that under the uh, administrative tab and preferences. Um, so let's try, uh, let's go back to that. Let's connect this guy, create a connection to maybe this guy, and um, that interface is fine, or I can select a different one, save that. And let's view our connections. So I have a bunch of connections in here. If I want, I don't have to keep going back to my map. I can just say connect uh, this guy right here to um, maybe the uh, the ASA, and I'll use uh, yeah whatever interface. So that's going to create this connection right up here. Save that. Close it. So you see how that works. Now I can also connect devices together using saved reports. So let's say I want to connect those two devices, right? This one and this one together using a saved report as well. I'm going to move the control point, use the control point, excuse me, and um, remove it. So that's pretty much where I want. I'm going to save my changes there. Now I'm going to connect them again, create a connection. But this time I'm going to use a saved report. And the saved report I want to use is application delay. And um, turn yellow at 3% that way. And then orange at 33%, maybe 66. It'll turn red. Uh, save that. Close. And let's fix uh, the way that curves by use, utilizing the control point. And... Uh, 
remove the control point. So I can connect icons together uh, several times using packet loss, latency, particular um, application to the internet like Salesforce. I want to keep an eye on latency as long as the router that I'm using um, exports an, a latency element or a round trip element. In this case, I believe I used a Cisco AVC. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. You can uh, connect devices. Now I can also add uh, shapes and objects. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go to objects and I've got this new option down here. So I'm going to create an object, uh, a text box or an icon. I'm going to use an icon and I want to use a cloud. I'm going to use a big old cloud like that one and the label is going to be AT and T and do I want to ping it? Now nah, I'll just leave the IP address off. Primary status, um, of, of uh, why it changes color. I'm not going to take advantage of that, but I can pull these devices and have them change color. And the link is going to go to um, www.att.com. Additional notes, my my notes about AT and T here. Yeah, to get a typo there. All right, so um, let's go ahead and save that and close. And my icon is right there and now what I can do is I can actually create a connection put it down here and um, I'll just use a line because uh, that device doesn't have any um, any interfaces um, if I had connected them in the other direction though watch this create a connection right up there um, now I can connect it um, but that device doesn't have, it doesn't have any interfaces either so I'll just use any old connection in the entire group from another device like my ASA if I want we've made it that flexible close now I've got those two devices connected that way all right uh, some of the other options I can zoom in and zoom out um, reset my zoom rate it's refreshing every uh, minute show host name no I want IP addresses oh I don't like that so I can go back here save it get out of edit mode what are my other options here maps edit connections edit mode dependencies um, basically this is for polling so I can say alright this device um, if this device uh, if I can't get to it um, and this device is uh, red as well it's up dependent so it's not gonna it's not gonna give me a down indicator for this device because this device is down because it's up dependent so um, you can read more about dependencies and polling so you don't get false positives uh, by reading the manual or giving us a call so I got this map and you know I'm really not uh, that happy with that AT&T icon I want to get it out of there so I'm gonna go back to objects and uh, find AT&T and um, add and remove and I'm just gonna get rid of it I don't I don't want it in my map so it's gone the connections are gone but you know I really just made a mistake I just don't want that icon in um, mapping at all so I'll just come in here and find uh, AT&T add a filter there's the icon right there I just delete it I don't want it available to anything um, and also you know what? I'm just really not happy with that map in general so I'm gonna come in here and just um, delete the map altogether and that way when I go back to the maps tab you'll see that the map is gone so um, see if there's any other straggler capabilities I think I covered it all if I go back into edit mode I've got a few more options uh, view mode auto arrange I think I covered all of that and you know if you uh, need some help setting this up and um, to uh, you know if you want to do something with the maps like putting these text boxes or whatever and, and uh, you want a tutorial or you need some help on it just give us a call we don't mind doing that for our customers and I hope you found this video intuitive thanks